Hello, my friends. A lot has happened today. I have five big stories in about five minutes. So here we go. So the first story is Russia fired 151 drones and missiles and aerial targets this morning at Ukraine. I covered that this morning, so I'm not going to get into it. It was in a daily brief. You can hear all about it. You can hear Greg Terry's uh, analysis of it. He was actually in Kharkiv when Kharkiv was getting slammed, and he can talk all about it. Okay, so we know that Russia... Oil refineries have been targeted, a number of them. This morning, we read in the Financial Times that the U.S. urged Ukraine to halt strikes on Russian oil refineries. And I went over that in depth in this video, my last video, what is really happening with oil refinery strikes. I went through everything, and including a Joe Bloggs analysis about what actually capacity has been hit. Upwards of 45% is has been hit, although only 14% has been removed or, or put offline. Okay, then we saw this this afternoon. A concert hall attacked in Moscow, a shooting in the concert itself, and a huge fire in the mall. Very likely a Kremlin false flag operation in order to boost mobilization and explain more strikes on Ukraine's civil population. I cannot say that that's what happened, but it looks suspicious. I'm not saying it's a false flag, I'm just saying it looks like it's setting up for that potentially just stand by and don't jump to conclusions. But breaking, one of the shooters in the Moscow concert hall was arrested. And even more, nowadays it's completely safe to drive in Moscow with Ukrainian plates? Of course. Okay, so something looks a little fishy here, but you can't jump to conclusions until you have solid evidence about that. Okay, so next. The House on Friday overcame a bipartisan, a bipartisan objections and passed a $1.2 trillion spending bill to keep most of the federal government funded just hours before a shutdown. Now, after the shutdown, they were going to address Ukraine. So, but Speaker Mike Johnson's job is being threatened as a result. So as a result of not shutting down the government, Marjorie Taylor Greene has gotten uh, active in putting forward a motion to vacate. So this is what's happened here. Marjorie Taylor Greene is at it again. So signs a, uh, a files a surprise motion to oust Speaker Johnson, a sign of growing revolt from the right. So that's Marjorie Taylor Greene. Here it is in Fox News. She filed a motion to vacate House Speaker Mike Johnson, Republican Louisiana, accusing him of having betrayed the confidence of the House GOP conference by ushering through a bipartisan $1.2 trillion federal funding bill to avoid a government shutdown. So that's how she frames it. It's more of a warning and a pink slip, Green told reporters after filing the motion. There's not time a time limit on this. It doesn't have to be forced. But I'm not saying it won't happen in two weeks or it won't happen. Okay, so here's the thing. It, it's like holding this over him and saying, well, it's already filed. I can just pull the trigger at any time. So she is holding leverage over Johnson saying, if you want to keep your job, you better do what we tell you or else. Okay. Um, I saw this and I, this was like a week ago, but I, I didn't see it. Listen to this. If you've ever voted for my father, I'm asking you to chip in five, 10, or even $25 to his campaign today. Well, I thought he was a billionaire, right? Crooked Joe Biden has an army of liberal billionaires bankrolling his campaign. But if everyone watching this video chips into my dad's campaign, he'll be able to drown them out once and for all. Please support my father's campaign today. I know with your support, he will make America great again. Okay, I just, just, I, yeah, I, it doesn't even compute. Um, but people will spend on that. Meanwhile, I saw this this morning. Trump's on the verge of a windfall of billions of dollars. So what's this from? Well, Trump stands to make over $3 billion as the company behind his social media platform, Truth Social, Trump Media and Technology Group, is on the verge of going public. So when it goes public, people buy public shares, he will reap in billions of dollars in that process. Okay, I'll keep an eye on what else is going on, particularly what's going on in the Mont. Uh, Moscow Concert Hall. This this smacks of Chechnya all over again. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and read the history of when the first Chechen war happened. What Putin, what was the pretext that caused the war with Chechnya? Now that's all that I have, but I'm asking on my community tab, a lot has happened today. What do you want to know more of? Oil refineries, Marjorie Taylor Greene's motion to vacate Mike Johnson, Moscow concert hall attack, something else. What am I not talking about that I ought to be talking about? Boom. I just posted it. 
please put that in the comments in the community tab. Thank you for your time. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, and the coffees. Thank you for being the kind of person that cares about Ukraine.